Hello everybody, welcome to our channel Being Civil. Today we'll learn about uh, a popular method, conjugate B method. This method is used to determine the slope and deflection of a beam subjected to external loading. This method is very much helpful and easy to for a beam which flexural rigidity is not uniform along its section. Uh, let us first uh, explain how to apply this theory, how to calculate slope and deflection, then we will prove the theory and later on we will do some examples in the next video. Let's go into the theory. In this theory, you have to first transform a real beam to its conjugate beam. There are uh, some rules for this transforming. You have real beam, first you have to transform a real beam into its conjugate beam. If there is a simply supported beam, its conjugate beam will also be simply supported. It means the hinge support remains hinge. If there is a roller support, it will also be hinge. Now what about fixed beam, fixed ended beam or cantilever beam like this? a cantilever beam, its conjugate beam will be like this. So it is the fixed end, the fixed end becomes free, the free end become fixed. If there is an intermediate support, it will be the support will be internal hinge. So using this formula you can transform a real beam into its conjugate beam. After transforming this you have to apply some loading on conjugate beam. There are some loading on real beam but in conjugate beam the loading will be different. So how to calculate the loading? you have real beam conjugate beam so by this rule of this method the M by EI diagram of real beam will be the loading on conjugate beam what are you, what about the uh, what about the sign convention if the m by ei diagram is positive the loading will be downward so you have transformed the beam 
into conjugate beam applied the loading now how to calculate the slope and deflection so by this theorem the shear force at any section is the slope of real beam at that section bending moment at any section of the conjugate beam is the deflection of the real beam so this is the basic theory that i have explained is conjugate beam method now let us prove let us prove the theory let reflect uh, in real beam the deflection let the deflection is y so what will be the slope it is dy dx and the curvature d to y dx to according to the bending theory that is uh, m by ei equal to d2 y dx2 that is m by ei is the curvature if you differentiate bending moment you will get the shear force let be the shear force so i am differentiating both the side so it becomes v by ei and d3 y dx2 if you again differentiate you will get q by ei d4 y dx2 q is the loading now according to conjugate beam method what i have just said that the m by ei diagram is the loading of the conjugate beam so we got the m by ei diagram of real beam as d2 y dx2 so we are applying a load q dash on conjugate beam which is equal to the m by ei diagram of the real beam so what about the shear force of the real beam if we integrate the loading then you got then you will get the shear force you see if you differentiate shear force you get the loading so if i integrate the shear uh, loading we get the shear force so what is q q dash is m by ei q dash is m by ei now from this equation we get that m by ei is the curvature d2y dx2 so you get dy dx so what is dy dx 
you see here dy dx is the slope so the shear force of the conjugate beam is the slope of the real beam now the second theorem that is bending moment if you uh, integrate shear force you will get the bending moment so what is v dash is dy dx you will get y so what is y written here d is the deflection so uh, we have just uh, proved the conjugate beam method it say it says that the slope of the conjugate beam uh, sorry the shear force of the conjugate beam is the slope of the real beam and the bending moment of the conjugate beam is the deflection of the real beam at any section when you apply the m by ei diagram positive m by ei diagram as a downward loading on the transformed conjugate beam so this is the theorem in the next video uh, we'll do some exam examples of conjugate beam method and you may also see calculation of slope and deflection of beams uh, using area moment theorem uh, I have uploaded the video earlier hope you like this video uh, then please thumbs up and subscribe my channel and stay tuned for more videos thank you